This is problem number nine on 2.2. What you have to do is you have to find the three different equations and put them in the blanks for the different pieces. So I'm going to start with this horizontal line here. This is a horizontal line just at negative three. And so I would just say negative three is the equation of that horizontal line. Now in order to get the other two, what you want to do is they are just straight lines, is you want to extend those lines down in order to possibly create the y-intercept or just look at the two points and write the equation of the line. So for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find two really good points. Here's a really good point and here's a really good point, just meaning that they're going on just those cross sections of the coordinate grid. First, I'm going to find the slope. You can see this goes down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2. So it's going to have a slope of negative 3 over 2. So if I extend this down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, you can see that it doesn't have a very good y-intercept from just looking at the graph, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more algebra to work with it. Since I know this point here, and this has a point of negative 1, negative 2, and I know the slope to be negative 3 halves, I'm just going to find the equation of the line. So I'm going to say y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1. So this is y minus negative 2 equal to negative 3 halves, x minus negative 1. And then I'm going to work that out from there. Now cleaning this up, this is just y plus 2 equal to negative 3 halves x plus 1. Just clean up my negatives. And so then I'm going to distribute that out. So it gives me y plus 2 equal to negative 3 halves x minus 3 halves. And then subtract that 2 over. So it gives me y equal to negative 3 halves x. And then just use your calculator to help with this. The negative 3 halves minus 2. And that gives me minus 3.5. Now, if you want, you can turn that into an improper fraction just using your calculator, which is also negative 7 halves. And so I'm going to say x minus 7 halves. Now, I'm going to rinse and repeat. I'm going to do the same thing for the other line. So I'm going to erase what I did here. And let's do it for the other line. So first, I'm going to count up the slope. And so to get from this point to this point, I would have to go up 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. And so that would have a rise of 2 over 4, which reduces to 1 half. So I already know the slope is 1 half x. And I'm just going to do it like I did before. I'm going to use this point right here. And so I have the point 6, comma, negative 2. And I have a slope of 1 half. And just follow your equation again. Now you could use y equals mx plus b if you're more comfortable with that. Either way, we're going to get the same answer. So I'm just filling everything in. I'm going to distribute. Now this is a plus 2 because of the double negative. So that gives me 1 half x minus 3. And then subtract the 2 over. So that gives me y equal to 1 half x minus 5. And so working with these piecewise functions can be difficult. But go back to your foundation. Find a slope. Find a point. Create the line. So I hope this helps with number 9.